from Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is the real Conrail Fault. Cement, ready mix concrete and aggregates company AfriSam is focusing on providing high level of responsive services and high quality products to its clients as it weathers the sustained doldrums the construction industry remains in. Skogberger has the story. The AfriSam Yuxke Blue Granite Quarry is located next to some of the fastest developing and high demand commercial and housing developments in Midrand and Gauteng. Across the N1 highway from the Waterfall City Development Precinct and the Mall of Africa, the Yuxke quarry team have implemented several techniques to suppress dust and noise and to ensure that its neighbours work and live safely. AfriSam sprays its roads with water, which drains into the quarry and is reused, and has installed dust suppression systems in its crushers. The Yuxke team also manages no-fly zones over the quarry during blasts, and has open and formal communication channels with a busy helipad adjacent to it. The quarry supplies a range of aggregates to clients and large construction projects. It also supplies two of the company's ready-mix concrete batch plants on the site, which have sophisticated ready-mix batching equipment in place and can accurately produce a range of ready-mix concrete batches to meet client specifications. AfriSam Construction Materials North Regional Manager, Zilas Dupria, provides details on some of the techniques used to manage the quality of the products it produces at the quarry and the sustainability of its quarrying operations. We have a couple of systems and initiatives in place um, that on top of the normal uh, requirements that, came, that, that, that comes from legislation. We have um, additional systems in place whereby we have sprayers on, a, on, a, on main oil roads where our LOD trucks come through um, that, that starts up periodically to make sure that the, 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 the road is, is covered properly. So what we've installed, and in, 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 this is also a water system, as soon as the cluster starts up, the water starts up and it contains the dust inside the cluster to give it time to, to get up to speed. Uh, on, on noise control, so there's a couple of measures we did in, a, in the operation. So one, one example is, is our shoot design is that the material comes through the chute. The chute is designed in such a way that to, to get material and material movement, to, to the material becomes a barrier on itself. So then it, it reduces the amount of noise on that chute. The same with, with, a, with a crusher. For instance, a cone crusher, um, if you choke feed it properly, it runs much quieter. If, as soon as you don't feed it optimally, um, it starts to become noisy. Um, same with materials in our feeders, that feeds a jaw crusher, we always keep a layer of material inside. We tap on top of that material and not onto bare metal to also reduce the noise. We also then do annual sound surveys around the quarry, both day shift and night shift, and then there's standards that we have to adhere to. So there's a, a standard they give us, and we, we do need to do the test and make sure that, that we, we get to that levels. If there's a problem that we pick up from there, then we start to identify where the problem comes from, and we, we try and engineer out the, the, the problem around that. With regards to, to blasting, is um, because the, the, the quarry sits in a really build up area, um, the communication phase is, is key um, with, with all the, um, the relevant stakeholders around us. So there's a communication channel that we have with, with, with everyone. We communicate all our blasting times um, and the days that we're going to do the blasting. AfriSam North and Central Operations Manager Kevin Naidu provides insight into the ready mix batching plants serving large scale projects in Gauteng. We're fortunate enough to get our products from our quarry uh, in our product. Um, we, um, we drive our uh, quality very hard. Coming to the lab side of it is that we get involved with the laboratory. They send us the gradings on your materials um, on, um, every month on your gradings on your materials, especially on the products that we're using in our ready mix plants. When the gradings are out, we get informed immediately, we stop production, we empty out the bins, get proper uh, quality material back onto the plants, and we send the product out. In Gauteng itself, we've got 23 ready mix plants. We're fortunate enough in my area, I've got uh, four um, ready mix plants. It's one of the busiest in South Africa because I'm centrally um, uh, uh, out there, positioned. Um, I've got two plants here at Jekske, which we supply within the Mudran um, uh, Limbro Park area, um, even up to Olifant's Fontaine, Kalami Park. And then uh, I've got the other two plants in Weinberg which is the um, supplying the, uh, predominantly into Limbro Park, the industrial area, Santon, Rosebank and so forth, and, and, and into Branston and Randburg. The, the um, highlighted one is the PwC Tower, uh, one of the iconic buildings here in South Africa. Uh, um, the Deloitte building we just almost done now with the Deloitte building. Leonardo is one of the tallest buildings in Southern Africa. Uh, I was uh, proud to be part of that. Was, that was a 24-hour pour. That's Cream Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.